Now, picture this for a moment. You're in your vulture and you check your missions. You find a mission that involves salvaging the wreck of a freelancer duo for an amount of 20k as an entry fee. You start flying towards the target, which, by the way, is not very close by. Usually these will be around, at best, 10 million kilometers away, sometimes even 20. But still, it's going to take you from 5 to 10 minutes, depending on what contour gram you have inside the Vulture. You arrive and you start salvaging. The job takes you about, let's say, 20-ish minutes. So, yeah, okay, not too long, that's fine. But this is when you start to realize that there's a bit of a problem. After cleaning the wreck dry completely, you end up with only three boxes of RMC. Okay, I mean, that's not great, but eh, I guess it's something. That is until you start thinking about that entry fee. So, if I was to give you a perfect visualization of the real profit I am making by actually salvaging in this salvage mission, this is what it looks like. And it's gone. Uh, what? To be fair, this is probably not the best example of a typical wreck. Uh, I will admit that the freelancer duo is by far the worst that you could possibly take. So there are other options available to you the Connie, the Valkyrie, or uh, actually the Freelancer Max, I think, can give you a little bit more of RMC. The amount of RMC can ramp up to about, let's say, five, maybe six. But even then, the profits are RMC alone are extremely low. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, that's because you didn't salvage the components. That's because you didn't even check the cargo, but that's not really the point. The Vulture is a ship that is meant to salvage RMC. Now, I'm not even going to talk about munching because I know absolutely nothing about it. I can only critique and observe what I have in front of me. What is the point of buying the ship that is built for a specific task, if the task that is performing barely covers the cost of the fee of entry. Now, I want to be very clear. I don't hate salvage missions. In fact, at their core, I actually really like them. I can see what the developers were trying to do with them. I, for instance, really like the fact that there's an entry fee. Please do not think that my problem here is the entry fee. The 50k missions are a very good example of how you can naturally guide players into figuring out what is a group mission and what is a single player mission. Very clearly these missions I think are meant to be group missions because you can split the fee between three to four players. These are the missions you should do in a group of vultures with a cargo ship maybe, or in a reclaimer. We've tested this with a reclaimer and it actually was a lot of fun with reasonable profit. Were it not for the many, many bugs with the reclaimer. Aside from that, the 50k missions are actually okay when it comes to RMC. 
if you start looking at components because of the nerf then it's not so great the example is the hammerhead mission which honestly because it only has like 20 boxes of rmc and the rest is supposed to come from the uh, rhino repeaters and now they sell for pretty much peanuts yeah they're not worth it so the main issue is not really with the 50k missions the 50k missions again not counting the issue with the components are fine the balance problem really is with the 20k missions that are clearly meant to be for the solo salvager so what could be the solution to fix 20k missions you could bring the prices of reselling components back to a reasonable level but then we go back to the actual reason to why the resale prices were nerfed in the first place why bother with the rmc if the components are going to sell for more that isn't to say that the components are not too low right now they're just not worth doing especially considering the very large space they require to store them so how do we make sure that rmc remains the main focus of the salvage missions otherwise what is the point of owning a vulture but at the same time make sure that salvaging component is worth doing because otherwise what is the point of this feature to begin with i think the quantity of rmc on the 20k rex needs to be improved a yield of three to six boxes is just not enough this should be bumped to range from eight boxes to about 10 boxes as for components give components different grades of quality. Some can be in very bad shape, some can be in very good shape. The price at which you will sell them will vary depending on their condition. This would allow for much more flexibility when it comes to handcrafting those missions. On one hand, you could keep the salvaging of RMC high value so that there is a point in using actual salvage ships. On the other hand, salvaging components still has value. It's just that you're not going to want to salvage every component on every wreck. Sometimes you're going to get to a wreck and all the components might be in very poor conditions. But sometimes you're going to get to that wreck that has that rhino repeater in perfect condition and that you will want to loot. If they do this, I think this could solve this entire situation. But that's just my opinion. It's tier zero, I understand, but a lot of work needs to be done. That's about it. Have a good one.